I was competing once in the World Championships over in Budapest, Hungary, about six months before the Olympics, and going into the horizontal bar finals. You all know what the high bar is, right? That single metal bar about nine feet above the ground. Going into high bar finals, I was in second place, ahead of all of the then Soviet and Chinese gymnasts. One uh, great gymnast from Japan ahead of me. What got me into the finals was a risky combination of skills. And it's hard to describe, but it's one where I swing around the high bar, and I let go of the bar, and I fly straight up over the bar, do a half turn, straddle my legs, come back down, catch the bar, I immediately let go again, do a backflip with a half turn in the pike position, come back down and catch the bar again. Trust me, it's hard, okay? <laughs> um, I made it in the preliminary round of competition, got a great score. In the warm-up session before the final round, where I'm supposed to go for the gold medal on high bar, all of a sudden I can't do this combination of skills successfully, start to worry, start to panic. Looked at my coach and I said, hey, hey you got to help me. i got 15 minutes till the competition starts. I can't do this skill right. What is wrong here? It's my only big trick. i got to do this. Uh, let me take a look at it, Peter. Oh, just, just pike more on your swing. Uh, arch more through the bottom next time. Try that instead. Um, let go of the bar a little bit later. All these wonderful, valid coaching tips. Until I got the ultimate coaching, teaching, and leadership wisdom. We've all heard it before. Just do it right. <laughs> and for a moment, I thought, forget it. I'm not going to do it at all. I'm going to leave it out. So what? I won't get the risk points. Who cares? I can still score a 9.8 with everything else. That's a great score. That should be enough to put me on the victory stand, which was the goal in the first place. But I knew it wasn't enough to put me on top of the victory stand. See, if I left that skill out, if I scored even as high as a 9.8, I knew under those circumstances that might be enough for the bronze medal with a ton of luck with silver. But realistically, I'm not going to win the gold medal without doing that skill because other guys in the finals are taking chances. At least one of them will be successful with his big trick. He's going to end up on top. And as soon as I realized that, I thought, wait a second, this could be the only chance they ever have in my life to become a world champion at anything. And I'm going to play it safe and guarantee that I don't become one. Might as well fall off trying. Looked at my coach and said, I'm going to go for it. I said, OK, let's do it. So I really focused in on what I had to do. The guy that was in first place blew it, made a mistake. All I have to do now is make this performance successfully. I'll become the world horizontal bar champion. Kind of a neat thing. So <laughs> I. Uh, Chalk up my hands, signal the superior judge. The big risk, he still comes at the beginning. Swing around the high bar, let go of the bar, flew straight up over the bar half, turned, straddled my legs, came back down, caught the bar. I immediately let go again, did that back flip with a half turn in the pike position, came back down to catch the bar, and the bar wasn't there. <laughs> Look, I know you're not gymnasts, but you're all educated enough about my sport to know this. You're only allowed to do one dismount in each performance. So I, I missed the bar. I dropped about 12 feet to my stomach, <clears throat> hit the mat, first dismount, got back up, grabbed the bar, finished my routine, landed my real dismount perfectly. Big deal. Uh, I jump off the platform, walked away, grabbed my bag, left the arena. I was devastated. I blew it, choked under pressure. I, uh, I failed on, on why world of sports to make it worse. I think I placed eighth. Eighth place in the world. That's uh, not too bad. There were only eight people in the competition. So <laughs> I'm walking back f f from the arena to the hotel. I'm, I'm all alone because nobody wanted to talk to me. And about halfway there, I stopped. And I promised myself something that basically went from here right down to here. Nobody heard this but me. It wasn't this great dramatic moment. But I meant it when I said it to myself. I just said, never again. I will never make that mistake again. I've got to stop taking that skill for granted. Because I train that skill like everything else I do in, in my sport. So for the next six or seven months sitting up to the games, almost every day, I go back to that horizontal bar, work a little bit extra on that risky release move that I tried to describe to you. And fortunately for me, that event, the high bar, with those skills in the routine, was one of the events in which I ended up scoring a perfect 10 at the Olympic Games.